Good day everyone! We are here to discuss to you some of the topics of context art. And the coverage of this lecture would be flash on the screen. So sit back and listen to our discussion. How does society affect artists and art? We all know how art can affect society, but before the artists came up with that art, they also get affected by society first. Upon what's happening to our society, regardless if it's positive or negative, they observe. Because of what they observe to their society, some artists get affected and they express their thoughts about this by making an art to spread awareness, and they use it as a subject to their arts. One of the examples here is the art of Benedicto Cabrera, which will be tackled also later. As he get affected on what happening in his society, he came up to make art about societal problem like humanity. And one of the example here is art entitled Crisis in Humanity. Symbolize the problems of our society in humanity in which killing, harassment, and other crimes happen everywhere. How does politics affect art and artists? Supporting the present political and ideological viewpoint is one way that art can contribute to political discourse. Though frequently a descriptive form, art can be used to alter current social and political circumstances. Art can address specific political issues or interpret various social structures. Artists can also be activists by joining political movements or organizations, but frequently they bring about political change on their own and independent of any pre-existing political force. Check out participative art, propaganda art, the critical and emancipatory function art may play in society in this blog article. How does the economy affect art and artists? Art has affected many things, especially culture and society. It's changed opinion, influence decision, and promote communication between. Artists are also have a lot of impact on our society, which ins inspire other people to love art more. Art and artists are very important industry, economic, generating income, creating job, and developing communities. So how does history affect the art and the artist? According to metmuseum.org, the past is revealed through the artwork of the past. We can discover information about a civilization that created a piece of art by examining symbols, colors, and the materials used in it. Also, we may contrast works of art, which offers many viewpoints and give us a well-rounded perspective on things, people, and circumstances. By closely viewing and analyzing historical artworks, we can go back in time and experience a different era. It enables us to better understand who we are as a people. We gain knowledge from the past and motivated by what has been accomplished, which shapes us the way we feel, think, and see the world. 20th century photography. The origins of photography in the Philippines can be traced back to 1840s with two preserved daguerreotypes, but their exact date is unknown. The Spaniards were the first to introduce photography to the Philippines in 1841. Don Sinibaldo de Mas arrived in the Philippines that year as the government diplomat for the Spanish king. He was tasked with documenting conditions in the colony and relaying that information to Spain. He transported the daguerreotypes from Spain to the Philippines. He was said to have taken photographs in the Philippines, but none of them have been found. Photography fulfilled the documentary and artistic functions. Local residents now have access to 20th century photography. Photographers such as Kodak established themselves in 1928 in the Philippines. 
The Dalagang Bukid was a more solace muse of ideal Filipino beauty. She is illustrated as a smiling and cheerful lady wearing the baratsaya with her hair firmly pulled back by a flowing bandana to protect her hair from the glare of the afternoon sun. So, Fernando's Amarsolas de Lagam Bukid became more popular because of its vulnerability and simplicity. Um, the Lagam Bukid por- portrayed the imagination of Fernando Amarsolas' ideal Filipino beauty. As you can see in his painting, the natural bare face of a girl who has bandana and wearing a conservative clothes, which represent the old clothes of the Filipinos. And as you can see, the young maiden hold a banga, which symbolizes her simplicity and vulnerability while her smile represents optimism and faith. This portrait represents the young maiden's sweetness and innocence. Narata de la Rama Hernandez, also known as Atang de la Rama, was a singer and vaudeville performer, was the first Filipina film actress. She was born in Pandahan, Manila on January 11, 1902. By the age of seven, she was already starring in Spanish as well as such as Mascota, Sueño de Unvas, and Marina. During the American colonization of the Philippines, Atam de la Rama fought for the domi- domination of the Cerzuela, a musical play that concreted on modern Filipino themes, including cockfighting and colonial mindset, as well as Kundiman, a significant Philippine folk song. She has also been a theatrical producer, a writer, and a talent manager. Si Atang de la Rama rin ang kauna-unahang nag-introduce ng Filipino culture sa mga foreign peoples. Siya rin ay nagsikap para madala ang kundiman at sarsuela sa mga katutubong tao dito sa Pilipinas tulad ng Igorot, Mangyans, at Itas. She also reached internationally such as Hawaii, Hong Kong, San Francisco, Los Angeles, New York City, and Tokyo. Benedicto Reyes Cabrera, also known as Ben Cab, is a Filipino painter and also known as a master of contemporary Philippine art. After earning his Bachelor in Fine Arts from the University of the Philippines in 1963, Ben Cab started to carve out a place for himself in the industry of art. He has exhibited widely in the Philippines and also internationally. In his first year as a painter in London was not easy but he got discovered immediately after holding his first exhibit. A lot of opportunity came and receiving commercial success with painting selling to notables including actress Glenda Jackson. He also making artworks to express his comment on social and political topics. He has won several major art awards in career spanning for four decades. And one of the awards that he received is in 1992, he received the Gawad CCP para sa Sining. In 2006, he was conferred the Order of National Artists for Visual Art by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo in Malacanang Palace. One of his famous artwork is the Brown Brother Burden, which we can see in our PowerPoint. Approximate the looks of an old photograph which represents the aspect of colonial history from the gaze of colonized. Using pre-existing objects or images in art without significantly altering them is known as appropriation. The practice of appropriation has been crucial throughout the history of the arts. In the visual arts, the term appropriate, adopt, borrow, recital, or sample refers to the accomplishing something in the right way. Most of the time, the original object is still unchanged and available. As an artistic method, the intentional borrowing, copying, and altering of prior images, objects, and ideas is related to found object art. Another definition of it is taking over of real object or even an existing piece of art into a work of art. Because some people see appropriation as an original or stolen, this artistic style does cause controversy. Whenever traditional clothing patterns or fashion trends are copied, mass produced, and marketed for profit. Because art is created by people and the people are influenced by time, contemporary arts in the Philippines are an ongoing practice that have changed with the introduction of the following news. One example of this is the stream by Edvard Munch that can be seen in the presentation. Someone anonymous from the Pinterest made Squidward version of this art. 
mode of reception aside from considering our personal identity as a perceiver of an art as well as the context. It is also important to note when, where, and how art is encountered. Most often, art is encountered in museums. Reception is very much affected by our level of exposure to the art form may be unfamiliar of shocking images. Museums power. Museums are places where we can view a wide variety of artistic, cultural, historical, traditional, and scientific items. It is an excellent source of information. Along with imparting knowledge, it also familiarizes us with the history, culture, civilization, religion, art, and architecture of our nations. Museums may improve our sense of well-being, give us a sense of pride in our past, inspire, challenge, and stimulate us, and give us a sense of well-being. Museums may assist us in comprehending, debating, and confronting societal challenges, including poverty, injustice, intolerance, and prejudice. How does reception affect people? Uh, most of us have people who don't like art, and there are more of us who like it arts. Sometimes they say something to the artist that can offend word, or the artist will be hurt by the word left. Not all people accept uh, our arts. This has many effect on our artists who work hard in painting and drawing so that they can be uh, proud of their, their work. They may lose their appetite for painting or they may lose the courage to show it, show us their works. If you are wondering, who is Mideo Cruz? He is a cross-disciplinary artist and activist based in Gapan City, Nueva Ecija, Philippines. His works of art frequently make overt, controversial observations about the societal order. Cruz focuses his time as an activist to uncover the truth hidden beneath the sanitized and filtered claims made by established organizations. Based on artspace.com, Cruz founded the cultural organization Ugat Lahi in 1992 with the help of a number of artists and activists. This art collective strives to raise awareness of the value of culture and the arts of fostering a strong nation. Subsequently, he founded the Global Artists Network, New World Disorder, which la launched art-related activities and interventions to critique and oppose the imperialist globalization and capitalism. He was honored with the Ateneo Art Award in 2006 and Cultural Center of the Philippines 13 Artist Award in 2003. Cruz was awarded a fellowship by the Asian Cultural Council in 2008 so that he may take part in residencies at the Headlands Art Center in California and the Point B Work Lodge in New York. How does an artist's demographic profile affect production as well as their receptions? The decision to produce it in materials and the materials to be used becomes part of the context for the resulting artwork because each artist has their own background as well as their arts. Audiences tend to recognize them which influences their productions and receptions because the more the artist and their work is known by people, the more successful they will be from receptions, productions, and everything else. It has a strong impact on people when the art is created by a well-known artist with a dramatic life background, inspirational background, and so on.